Greetings everyone, I'm Epictetus and this is episode 5 of Epic Tech. That's right, it's already episode 5. I, I don't even, I, 5, it's not that many. It just seems like a lot. I don't know. Does it seem like a lot to you? What do you think of this view? Huh? Check this out. That's where we came from. And this is what we can see from here. No, I'm not in creative mode. I'm standing on this little tiny thing jutting out. It's kind of cool. I did not add that myself. It's just really neat. Anyway, uh, using the hang glider, I can fly almost back to our original base from here. From that spot right there, it's great. But I'm not going to do that quite yet. I want to give you a tour. Check this out. So right back there. Got a nice little spot for a farm. I'm hoping to get to that today. That's the plan anyway. I'm going to show you the new base. I'll get a couple of changes to make in the base. And then uh, one more run back to the old place. You'll see how torn apart it is. Not much left. I'm breathing into my mic. Let me move that a little bit. And, um, well, that, the farm, last move. Oh, and yeah, okay, so a couple of changes. But let me show you around. So we've got a we've got our Tinker's construct stuff set back up again. I like this layout; it works out pretty well because we make uh, stencils, got the stencil pattern chest back there. We can make our parts, and then over here we've got the uh, tool station. Trying to get this mic position right. For some reason, I keep breathing into it. Oh, the things you learn. So there's also uh, we've got the bookcase there, and uh, here's our Tinker's construct smeltery i have increased the size it is now a three by three because that gives us a lot more flexibility and that sort of thing we can melt down more things at a time and here we go so i plan to turn this into a uh, glass wall so we can have this view all the time and then one of the things I like to do is have some way to see the sun or the moon from my base. So I started to set up this wall of uh, drawers here. And then I kind of realized after the fact, wait a minute, I don't want drawers here. I want to go all the way that direction so I can actually see out. I want to be able to see either a sunset or a moonrise without having to leave my home. I don't know how far. Wow, there's also a lot of room here. I mean, we're going to need this room for machines and storage and all sorts of things. There we go. Plus, look at that view. Isn't that awesome? Okay, it's dark. Let's go sleep. Come back and take a look. I'll put these. Oh, double right click. Here we go. Do, do, do. It's pretty nice as it is. But once we get this all, all the way out here, put another glass wall over here, and we'll be able, ooh, we'll be able to see out this way and look a horse. Don't have a saddle yet, but you know, eventually. Looks like there's some uh, holes to go digging in over there and random surface lava and we can just barely see where we came from over there. So, yeah, this will be nice. Let's give us a fair amount of room for the beginning. We'll eventually make it nice and pretty, and we'll replace all the random other materials in the floor with some kind of flooring kind of thing. But first, we need to move these. And I really don't feel like setting these up again. So I've got an idea, and this will introduce yet another awesome item. So let's take a look. First, I'm going to need, uh, I guess I really just need it, two of these. Yeah, I'll throw that there for now. I need a chest. And I need something else. I need some iron. Do I have enough iron? I think it's five. Let's go find out. Do, do, do. This right here should make... Aw. Uh, did I not remember the crop? 
Hmm. Did they change it? The dolly. Oh, it's not a chest. It's just a single piece of wood. Oh, that's even better. I'll take that. Why not? All right, the dolly is a wonderful thing, as you're about to see. We're going to use this chest for other things anyway, so we'll just go ahead and throw it in here somewhere. Along with... No, no, nothing else. All right, the dolly can pick up mm, a lot of things with inventory. So you can pick up a chest. Notice you get slowness and mining fatigue. Even just while carrying it. I can just throw that in my inventory and I'm still moving around real slowly. Now it does not stack, so if you have several of these, you can actually walk around with several dollies. It's not a problem. This chest is... Whoops. <laughs> That's not what I wanted to do. There you go. Uh, it, it just takes that half of the chest. So if I grab that, move it over there, now I can look and I've got half in each one there. It works great. Really handy. I didn't have to pull all that stuff into my inventory or anything like that. But it works with storage drawers as well. So we can just do this. Like that. Like that. And ta-da! We're done. That's all there is to it. It was just that easy. And now I can fill this in because I kind of like the the inset look there. Just kind of like that. And then as we do more, we can go either direction, left or right. I don't know if I'm not I'm not going to keep these here. I'm going to find a better place for those. Uh, and in between this episode and next, I'm not going to make you watch me empty all this out. I'll do that. And yeah, that it's just that easy. So I'm going to, hmm, I need a place to put this. And I've got a great idea. I'll show you something else. Check this out. You ever seen a drying rack? These are wonderful. Now, normally you can use these to make dried foods. Uh, you can put some, put a piece of chicken up there or a piece of uh, beef or whatnot. And if you let it sit there for long enough, it's probably about a Minecraft day, something along those lines. It'll turn into a dried version of that. But you can put anything on these. So, there you go. I'm just going to hang my dolly there. And uh, now if I ever need it, I can just right-click it. And it'll come back. See? Look. Wee. Fun. All right. And I think I'm going to start a little bit more. That was, there wasn't a whole lot of iron in there, so I'm just going to grab... we got room for... Oh. We've got room for nine. I told you these get doubled, right? So we'll get 18 ingots from that, and that'll be good. So let's run back really quickly. Go back up to this gorgeous view. I'll show you the flight back and grab the last few things from our base. There you go. There's our mountaintop over there. And is that it? Looks like it. It's hard to tell now that there's no actual things on it. There we go. Hello, Biggie. Oh, it's so sad. That's where our smelter used to be. This is where all of our other stuff used to be. So we've just got a little bit of food here. And of course a couple of chests. And we've got our old little farm there and we've got all these guys here so I'm just gonna right click all of these and I'm gonna wish I hadn't done that. Yes, I knew it. Alright. And now at least I'll stack in my Yeah. At least now it'll stack in my inventory. No of course not. Okay. Hopefully that's all the no that's not. Hang on. If I do it with a... No. There we go. I'll do it with the hang glider. Anyway, so I'm going to pick all these up. A lot of them have grown, or spread anyway. And we'll... Uh, oh yeah, and our farm is almost done. And I guess I spent more time over there preparing that base than I thought. Okay. I think that's about it 
for those, and then we can put a lot of those in the uh, satchel here. Gotta love the satchel. And then we'll pick up all these, the done ones anyway. I might just leave the rest of these here. I've got, I've got at least something of all of this over there, and this, you know, just in case we need food. Sometime. No, mm -mm, not gonna do it. I'm being silly. Just grab it. I hate, you know, wasting growth time. But it is what it is. I hate having something in my hand when I don't need to. All right. Let's go. All right, we're going to head back and we'll never come back here again. Well, maybe eventually, but not for a very long time. I don't see any reason to anyway. Unfortunately, the, the path back is not quite as easy as the path over here because we don't have the height to our advantage, but that's okay. Get a little bit of all the. Hmm. All right. You pretty much lose all of the advantage <laughs> that we got from using the uh, hang glider right there just from catching an edge. But I have learned that this path is a little easier because we can just kind of. Hop from <laughs> oh, it's so sad. Whenever I try and show off to anybody, you can just hop from tree to tree so easily. Here we go. All right, so down here, we are going to make ourselves, besides a gigantic hole in the ground, okay, there we go. Uh, we are going to make ourselves a farm. Isn't this nice? I think it's nice. All right, I've got a bucket because we are going to need water. And let's pick a spot. It doesn't need to be a huge farm yet, so let's do let's do this. So we'll throw some water there. And we need to start planting. So we can we'll make it quite a bit larger than the last one. There we go. And let's get some a couple of carrots going, and potatoes, and wheat, and whatever else we've got. We've got tomatoes and soybeans. These are all good things. And, oh yeah, I had some. I have grapes and spinach. Those are good too. So there's two, there's really kind of two kinds of farms that you can get going. Well, three kinds of farms that you can get going in this mod pack. One is this kind of thing, kind of the old school farm, but with new crops. Then, of course, because we've got Pam's Harvest Craft, ah, not that one. Because we've got Pam's Harvest Craft, we can use the uh, the gardens, but they're a little random. I always like to do it kind of this way: three, and then do one unique one in each spot. And let's see, let's do nine, eight, seven, and well, probably should have done this. That way I can kind of tell what I've got and what I don't. Oh, goodbye, son, yet again. What have I got? Well, you know what? I'll do the rest later. I'm going to bring these all upstairs. Um, these are kind of random. You get different... Or you get... Yeah, you get different things every time you break them. And it's really slow. They don't spread very quickly, as you've noticed. The other kind of farm, that one, we have a way of speeding that up, which we're going to do in just a little bit. This is pretty full, isn't it? Yeah. Well, uh... Don't I have... More chests in here, yes I do. So we'll do this. Doot, doot. Also sleep. Uh, so we have a way of speeding that up. And there's a modification using AgriCraft that allows you, it's just, it's gonna be easier to stick them all up there. By the way, 
for those that don't know. I like to give you little hints here and there. Uh, you can send your entire inventory, or at least the, these three lines, or everything in a chest from one to the other by holding down the space bar and clicking on anything in that area. Handy, huh? Oh, look, essence berry bushes. I should plant those. I'll plant them right there for now. No, that's a horrible place. That is an awful place to plant these. What am I thinking? Let's plant them up here. Sorry, ADD happening again. Ow, ow. By the way, if you step on those, they hurt. Just in case you hadn't figured that out by me stepping on them and them hurting me. All right. See, and now I'm over here doing this, and you guys got to get annoyed by me. All right. I just want to get that iron going. Can you imagine how I play without an audience? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty random. All right. Where was I? Farms. Yes. Let's talk about farms. All right. So you've got those. They're kind of random. You got those. They're really slow in this mod pack. But we have a way of speeding them up. A couple of different ways of speeding them up. The first thing that we're going to do this time, which makes it nice, which is quite easy to do, is add some irrigation. So let's see. Oh, I didn't want that. I don't want that. What I want, what did I want? Irrigation, right? Is that what I wanted? I just said that. Yes, I want irrigation. That's exactly what I want. You go away. We need, let's see, agricraft. We need water tanks. We need irrigation channels. And we need sprinklers all right which means we need more oak wood planks uh, which means we need more oak wood or we need to use jungle wood hmm hmm, hmm. hmm. I might have to uh, pause this and run and get some jungle wood or oak wood or something now we'll use jungle wood Okay, I know you're thinking, why are you being so persnickety about this? The reason is that whatever type of wood you use will not connect to uh, the other thing. So this wooden water tank, will uh, a, an oak wooden water tank will not connect to a jungle uh, irrigation channel. So whatever I choose, if I want them to connect... I better make sure they're of the same type. Now, if I'm not mistaken... Yeah, there we go. Irrigation channels. So, however, the sprinkler will connect to anything. Any of those types. So, we can use anything we want here. It's all going to end up the same. You'll notice there's only one sprinkler in here. Alright, but we need a bunch of iron. Tons of iron. Maybe not tons, but certainly enough. Now oh, we got 31. That'll do well. Alright. So, let's do this thing. We could need a bunch of those, I noticed. And need another bucket. Do, do, do. Like that. And let's see. With a bucket here and that there and these here and a plank there plank there okay what did I get wrong oh let's switch these yeah there we go sprinkler and for right now we're only gonna need one sprinkler all right and we still need this bucket and I'm gonna run down I'm gonna show you this and then I'm gonna come right back up and just like your math teacher I'm gonna show you the hard way and then I'm gonna show you the easy way Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I had something very important I needed to... Oh, oh, <laughs> yeah. I was noticing my food levels down there. Let me 
because I am starving. And in a few moments, I'm going to have my... Oh, look at that. I already got an extra gourd garden. That's cool. All right. So we're going to need to do this. Do I need to do yeah, I'm going to do this. I know you're thinking, what, what do you need to do? Why do you need to do that? I'll show you. I promise. And let's do one more. Okay. Because we're going to put the tank there. No, no, that was the wrong. No, that's the right place for the tank. Yeah, that's good. Okay. You cannot attach a sprinkler directly to the bottom of a wood tank. But you can put it at the bottom of an irrigation channel. And now we've got ourselves a hovering irrigation channel, which I don't like the look of, but I'll change that later. I don't like hovering things. It bothers me. Obey the laws of physics, I tell you. All right. So I'm going to go grab some water, and I'm going to show you what happens. You take a bucket of water, and you put it in there, and nothing happens. And you go and you grab another bucket of water, and you throw it in here. And look, it starts sprinkling. Wonderful. There it goes. It's sprinkling. Isn't that great? And then you can see that it's dropping down and when it gets to I think a bucket and a half it'll stop but I can put up to eight buckets in there and I can keep that going and as it's sprinkling oh it just stopped at oh 1760 apparently and there's some math involved in that that I don't feel like doing there you go throw another bucket in there and it'll go until it hits 1760 again and it'll stop and and yeah but while that's going, it's speeding up the growth of these. Cool, huh? So, but I gotta run back and forth with a bucket. That's lame. There's gotta be a better way. And by Jove, there is. Today, the mod of the day is Extra Utilities. Because Extra Utilities has a really cool feature. You can use one of their pipes and something called a world interaction upgrade and a uh, retrieval node. We're going to have to look all these things up, but we'll figure it out. And you can have it create an infinite water source that pumps directly into that thing and you'll never have to fill it again. So let's start with, let's see, it's a, we need pipes called transfer pipes. We need stone slabs, glass, and redstone, which means we're going to need some glass getting cooked up. And we're going to need some smooth stone. Put that in here. And let's see. And some redstone. I know we're going to need a little bit of redstone, so I'm just going to grab a few. Okay. And now let's see. It's not so bad. So like this. Like this. Like this. Like that. And we got some transfer notes. Now we're going to need those again in a second because if we type in node, there's the transfer node for liquids. And these are a little more expensive, but well worth it. We needed some lapis. That was one of the things I was saying I needed. We need a bucket. More iron. Because you always need more iron. Let's grab that bucket. Okay. And my memory for these shapes is horrible. So let's do that. And then we need more redstone. Because it wants a block of redstone. And then it wants one of these pipes. And it wants two lapis lazuli, which I do happen to have. All right. And now we've got ourselves a transfer node for liquids. But we need one more thing. This right here, I can put on the side of a tank or pretty much anything else. But it won't interact with the world. 
hence the world interaction upgrade. It's a lot of iron, okay, and more lapis, but we can do this. Like this, and oh, need some sticks. I love having this table. It is so handy. Just kind of stick things around like that. Hey, just getting an upgrade. All right. Uh, let's see, we needed four more lapis and four iron. So we'll do the iron right now so I don't forget between here and there. And do this like that. And we got ourselves a world interaction upgrade. So those three things right there. Let me sleep through the night, eat my beef wellington, and then we'll go down there and implement this thing. Uh, we're going to need another. Wait, I've got the bucket. We're good. Oh, no, that's right. I don't want to eat beef wellington. I'm getting half the value from that. Ugh. I think it's been a while since I've eaten carrot juice. <laughs> Let me do some carrot juice and some apple juice, and I should probably actually, while I'm at it, make an apple tree. Okay. And the juicer. Yep. Haven't eaten that in a while. And or that. Good. It's not a, not a lot, but it will, it'll save me from dying on screen. So let's see. Let's see. I'm going to go ahead and plant this. I think it'd be really nice if we planted it just right here, huh? What do you think? Maybe maybe over here. Let's plant it over here. I don't want it to get in my way. Yeah, I'll just put it right there. That'd be nice. All right. Um, I hate to do it, but I need to do some more recipes. I know you guys aren't totally excited about watching me make some more recipes with uh, Pam's Harvest Craft, but gonna need to because I'm gonna die if I don't so you guys don't want me to die do you hmm anybody all right okay let's see I can use let's I really want to use more of this raw beef here I've got so much of it I don't have any of that I think I have everything for shepherd's pie I just need more flour. I don't think I have any. Well, I've got this. Okay. Let's try that out. So worm pestle plus wheat gives me flour. Flour plus salt. What is it? Flour and salt. Of course, nothing is anywhere that I can find it. Where is my salt? You know what? I think it might be in my satchel. Ha <laughs> ha, it is. Okay. And I can't remember. Oh. Dough is... Oh, and water. That's right. Hmm. I'm also going to need a kitchen. And I don't have any water up here. Okay. We're going to go downstairs, we're going to go down here, and I'm going to grab some water. I'm going to need it anyway. I'm going to see if we can do all this without dying. So one of the things that this world interaction upgrade needs is an infinite water source. There you go. Down there. Like that. I think I'm about to wish I hadn't done that. That's right. Can't do that. That's okay. I'll just do it this way. Gotta get out of the water. Okay. So I'm gonna put that there. This is gonna look really funny. And I put that there, but then I have to break this. Because I can't really put it there without, you know, right. And you notice there's nothing in it, but as soon as I put this world interaction upgrade in there, look, it's got water. As a matter of fact, it's got five, six, seven, eight, etc. Now all I have to do is hook up transfer pipes. And give it a second, and bam, look at that. It's going. 
Gotta love it. I'm done. I never have to put water in this thing again. That's right. And I've got all this stuff. Okay, let me get some water to take upstairs. Actually, check this out. We fresh water. We'll do a few of these. Then I don't have to do this again. Pam's is so kind to you when it comes to this. Just randomly. Just put that up there. It gives you four of these. These can only be, you can't dump these out in the world. They can only be used as a crafting component for Pam's Harvest Craft. That's the only purpose. But it means you don't have to run back and forth with a bucket constantly. Which is really nice. Okay. So we've got a basic little farm down here. We've got some fresh water there. It's like, it's not a pot. I thought it was a pot. Well then what is it? It's, oh, it's a mixing bowl. Do I have a mixing bowl? I don't think I have a mixing bowl. Okay, well they're easy to make. I think. Yeah, that's easy. Doop. Like that, and like that, and let's save a spot. No, no, you're gonna be like that. Nope, here we go. That's what we're gonna do. Like this. Yep, like that. So, put that away. Stick up here. I've got dough. Ooh, okay. So, we've got dough plus this. Um,. We need a carrot, a pea, a potato, and oh, and bakeware. Bakeware requires bricks. Bricks require, okay, let's do all this. Luckily, we've got this guy. Go. Okay, so bakeware's coming up. We also need a carrot and a potato, and that was it, right? Nope, pea. We need to get a pee. We got a pee. All right. I really hope this is worth it. I didn't even look at how much it gives you. It's not much. Okay. But these... Oh, look at that. Flour, stock, raw beef. Well, hey, let's do that one too. Let's see. There's stock, flour... Was the other one? And pot. Okay, let's take the pot up there. And why are you not going? Oh, that's right. That's a bug. Okay. Like that. Put that over there. Ah, there. Okay. And then more flour. Uh. The juicer. Mixing bowl. No, mortar and pestle. And. Uh, yep, I guess my last my last wheat, but luckily I've got everything down there and meaty stew. We'll take that. Alright. Well, that'll get us by for a while. We're going to have to do something more about all this. Oh, let me leave this. I, unlike some others, don't like carrying around tons and tons of random things. I'm, I don't even know who I'm making fun of right now. I just watch other people constantly out of space in their inventory, and I just, I'm too picky about that. And it does mean you're going to have to watch me put things away. Wow, we've been growing a lot of things there. Huh. All right. Hmm. So, we've got ourselves a new base. We've got a little tiny farm over there. We've got things really kind of on the roll. Getting going. I feel like we're kind of establishing somewhat. So, yeah. I think we're doing good. And we're out of time. So, tell you what. Between this episode and next, I'm going to push that out over there. And I'm going to probably clean up a little bit. And I might expand that farm a little bit. It's just basically going to be 
you know, digging out some more space and putting planting some stuff. And then I'm going to get one of each of the types that I've got of harvest, um, gardens planted out there. Or three of each, really, because that's what we're doing there. And, yeah, that's about it. And then I'll uh, see you in the next one. So thanks for joining me. And leave your comments. Thumbs up. Subscribe. Send me money in the mail. No, I'm kidding about that last one. Don't do that. Especially because you have no idea what my address is. And I'm not going to give it to you. So, yeah. All right. That's it. I'll see you next time. Bye.